Hey everybody, it's Saturday, and I'm backing up, that's why I'm beeping, and I had a little snafu, and I started taking off for the day, and I forgot paperwork I needed, so I'm headed to West right now, finally, it's noon, I got everything done I needed to get done, everything tested, had the car looked at after the raccoon accident, um, and they're going to send me to a local body shop that they do business with. And uh, I had their mechanics get up underneath there. So the rattling sounds, probably those plastic tabs that hold down the, um, the missing plastic for the wheel well. And actually, I just heard them rattling because of the wind. And so that's probably what it is. Uh, they, they rattled them and it sounded similar to it. So I'm pretty sure that's it. So... I'm going to go, I guess, Monday in late to work, and I'm going to go to this place first. It's here in town, and uh, have them do the estimate, and then have them, because they'll deal with the insurance company for me, so um, we'll get this thing all fixed up and not have to worry about it. So, But they said it was safe to drive uh, up to west. Uh, otherwise, I probably wouldn't have been able to go today because my wife's car really needs tires. Uh, that's the next thing we need to buy, and I need to change the oil in her car. And so, there's no point in taking that um, if it's going to be a risk. So, God, there's a bunch of tree limbs and stuff down in town. Oh, there's a big one I didn't see it earlier from last night's storm. So anyway, that's where I'm headed. So occasionally I'll give you guys updates. And then what I'm going to do when I get home is just compile all the footage together. Uh, and then that way you guys kind of get a sense of my trip up there. So anyway, um, I'm leaving Bastrop now. And probably the next time I'll check in with you will probably be around uh, when I get on 35. So I'll see you then. All right, I'm like about halfway there I'm in uh, Little River Academy so I'm getting closer and closer and so I guess my plan is, is that when I get there I'm going to go straight to the fire station and uh, go meet up with everybody and then present the computers and then I'm probably going to just hang out for a little bit and then come back home so because that's really I mean the whole purpose of going up there is just to drop off the computers and, and meet all these people. Um, I don't know that I'm going to tour the town. Um, if they ask me to or ask me, you know, do you want to go take a look, then I probably will, but I probably won't just do it on my own. Um, to me, it's, it's a respect thing, just like when Bastrop um, started opening and we had tons of traffic for people just wanting to see burnt trees. Um, you know, you don't live there and you don't know what's going on. And uh, people were getting mad because people would just stop in their driveways and take a bunch of pictures of their burnt up houses. And, you know, it's, it's one thing for the media to report it, but it's another thing for me to go over there and film something or take pictures things like that, especially when it's not my town and not my situation, and, you know, you gotta have respect for people, so, anyway, um, next video should be me probably either outside of Waco or probably going into West, so we'll just see how it all plays out, but, um, I'll see you guys at the next stop. Alright, an update for you. I am outside of Waco. It's just a little after 2, about 2.15, so I should be there in the next 20 or 30 minutes. I forget how far it is actually from Waco to uh, West. I don't think it's that far, but I haven't seen a sign yet telling me how far it's going to be. But uh, definitely getting excited. Uh, I get nervous when I do these things and talk in front of people. And if you watch my vlogs, you notice that I like to talk a lot. And so it's kind of weird that I'm so relaxed in front of the camera. But when I have just a few people in front of me, I get a little nervous. And I don't know why. It 
it's not nervous where I don't want to do it, I'm nervous. It's like a, an excited nervous, and I don't mind doing it at all. So, so we'll get there and uh, get these computers to these great people of West. And uh, as soon as I'm done, I'll probably record a, a little bit, and then I'll record as soon as I get home and kind of complete my trip. So. Next stop is West, and uh, I'll give you guys an update soon as I'm done. Alright folks, um, I'm leaving West, um, got their computers hooked up, ended up having an issue with the monitor cables, and we ended up going and getting cables, and um, I'm going to ship them a third monitor, because uh, we looked at their old machine and it's not in bad shape. And so that gives them one per desk, and then it gives it the two laptops for their training, um, which they weren't even really thinking about having a laptop or anything for training, but it'll it definitely help them out. Um, I did get to see downtown, which I was really interested in. I don't think I've, well, I know I've never seen downtown um, as many times as I've been here. I've never seen downtown, so got to go down there and um, I really liked meeting them uh, they are I don't know how to describe it uh, you sometimes when you meet people you know how special they are and I can really feel that in West that all these people are, are very very special and it nearly gets me an emotional think about it, and um, then when I was going to leave, I went to use their restroom, and the people that they lost, uh, they still have their equipment hanging up, and that really, I don't know, that really got to me, because I feel so bad that they had to go through something like this. Um, but I think it was a good thing that I came up here and got to meet them and kind of told them some of the th stuff that we went through in Bastrop after the fire um, and some of the things to watch out for and some of the uh, groups to watch out for that come into town and decide to take over. And so we had a discussion about that and some of the scams people will try to pull on them. And so hopefully nobody tries to pull anything. I know they had some looters. And they talked about that a little bit, but um, they're really, you can tell they're so worn down from everything that it's, I really feel for them because, you know, nobody asked for this and nobody um, said, hey, you know, we want, we want the publicity for our little city. I mean, nobody wants that especially when something tragic like that happens and you can tell that none of them were prepared for this to ever happen. Um, they might have been prepared as far as what they were going to do to fight a fire if it ever happened at the plant, but they weren't prepared for what happens when you have a disaster of that magnitude in your town. Uh, just like the city of Bastrop wasn't really prepared but it's a much bigger area, and we had something in place for situations like this because of all the trees and everything. Of course, they're eventually going to catch on fire. But um, if you have a chance to go to West, don't go to see where there's a crater or something blew up. I had no interest in that. What they really want people to do is come to West, go to downtown and find one of these businesses and spend some money. You know, these people still need to make a living and people are coming in and out of town. And the problem is that all you see in West is what's on the highway. And when you go into West and you see downtown, they have a great downtown. Uh, and I was told that the check stop has great kolaches, but there's a couple of local places that you should try, and some people like one more than the other, and 
I said, give them all a try. You know, they all need your money, and they need to be able to survive. So um, I think at this point, really what helps them is monetary donations and gift cards. So I think that's what people should focus on. You know, giving them a bunch of toilet paper or a bunch of clothes is not going to help them at this point. So, but I really, I, I, I felt like I was going to get emotional and, and like start crying because it's they're in such a bad situation and it's if you look at what happened and you base it on the size of their town that's that's like a, a huge bomb going off in you know a big town like with Oklahoma City it's a much bigger bomb a lot more people had died but if you take what happened in Oklahoma City because of that when you look at what happened to West, they they have the same emotional reaction and they have the same amount of sadness because it's to their local area, just like, you know, Bastrop, you know, all those houses, we lost all those houses and trees and we lost two lives and it hurts just the same as them losing their schools and losing an employer in the fertilizer plant and uh, losing their firefighters uh, and then losing houses and you know it's it's a hard thing to, to get over but like I said it's one day at a time and you deal with what comes at you uh, and at the end of the day you go home and you try not to think about it and then the next day uh, you get up and start all over again so I think at some point in time in the future they'll be okay, but right now they just really need everybody's love and support. So that's that's what we're here for. That's why I went up there to show them that uh, we definitely care, and if they need something, that they can always rely on us to come help them. So anyway, I'm headed back. So uh, since I get home, I'll close out this vlog and. Start working on getting it edited and uploaded. So I'll uh, see when I get home. Hey everybody, um, I was supposed to finish up. It's actually Sunday today, and I was supposed to finish up my blog yesterday and got home and uh, realized that the grass needed to be mowed and some other stuff. And I got busy and didn't get to finish. Uh, once I got home yesterday, I got home okay. Um, and so. Basically, just a quick overview of my trip is that uh, I know it was really, I, I, I really feel for them because it's different than just losing your stuff when you lose, you know, five of your really close friends that, that you work with, basically, because they were, you know, they're all volunteers and they spend a lot of time together. So, um, if you get a chance, uh, you know, they don't need junk, they don't need clothes, uh, they don't need you to send furniture and all that stuff. These people have to fix their houses and rebuild first, so money and gift cards are the way to go. But anyway, they're definitely in my thoughts every day, and um, like I told them, eventually things will get back to what is a new normal. And uh, they won't ever forget what happened, but it, it won't be to the point where it stresses them out to think about it. They'll be able to think about good times versus just this one horrible time. So uh, that's it for the Saturday vlog. Uh, once you get through watching this one, the Sunday one should be uploaded. So make sure you watch it.